Welcome back, friends. Tonight, I'm going to create something uh, that was a special request. It is a photo collage created with cardboard boxes. So I'm going to head on over to my elements and I'm going to search for empty box. I'm going to go into my photos and search for the perfect box. Now, this one will work but I want something that's a little bit more square like this one. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my uh, workspace and I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna create a grid. Um, so I'm gonna say add guides and uh, I'm gonna choose the custom option because I don't want a gap. So uh, what I do want is three columns, three rows, I don't want a gap at all. And I'll just say add guides. So now I've got a guide to help me with the design. And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to uh, make it smaller. And I'm just going to place this right up against the edge and just trying to match up the guides like that. I'll take another copy and I'll put it right here. And I'm going to just crop it on the side just so that I don't see that open side. And I'll crop this side as well like that. I'll take another copy and I'll put it right next to it. And I'll open it up so that I can see the flap on the left. And I'm just going to continue to do this. Throughout. And I'll just crop these ones. All right, now that I got my boxes, I'm going to grab all of this and just make it a little bit bigger so that it comes to the edges. I'm going to grab this and just move it down a little bit like that. Let's place some images on our workspace now. So I'm just going to go into my recently used and I'm going to uh, grab some pictures and put them on my workspace. All right, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to remove the background. And I'll just put that down there. Again, I'm going to remove the background for this one. And I'll just crop it. Let me just grab these other ones and I'll just move them over a little bit so that we can start to place them in our design. Okay, so here is our first one. And I'm going to put that right here. Let's grab this one. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'll put him right here. Let's grab this one. And I'll put that right there. Let's grab our next one. I'm going to remove the background for that. Make it a little smaller. And I'll put him right there. Let's grab this one and remove the background. And I'll put her right there. Let's grab this one and remove the background. I'll just leave that there for now. Let's remove the background for that one. And let's put her here. Let's grab this one, remove the background. Actually, I'm going to undo that because what I want to do is I actually want the rock. 
So I'm going to go into um, edit and I'm actually going to use magic grab. And I'm going to see if I can grab that rock if it lets me, which it does. And then her. And I'll just say grab. All right. So I'm going to get rid of that background. And now I have her with the rock. And I'll just put her in one of these boxes like that. And let's twist it a little bit like that. Okay, let's grab this boy here and let's put him right there. And we need one more. So you know what? Let's just duplicate this one and we'll bring her right there. Now, if we want to add a little bit of depth, we can definitely add some shadows. So uh, let me show you what that would look like. So that's what that shadow would look like if you want to add a shadow. I'm going to copy that style and apply it here, 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 there, and to the rest. Okay, so let's just adjust them a little bit. Oh, her rock is gone now. Okay, well. <laughs> um, okay, Canva does some strange things, but what can you do? Just make her a little bit bigger like that. All right, so what else can we do with this? Why don't we grab some Christmas lights? And we can put them either individually underneath Or we can also just make them larger and just put them all the way across. Let's grab some other ones like this. And let's see if we can find some other Christmas lights. to graphics and why don't we use these these look cool all right so what else can we do let's grab a wreath uh, like this one and let's see if we can put it behind or what you know what that looks like if we put it behind one of the kids so I'm gonna leave that right there and I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to send it backwards in back of the boy. So that's what that would look like. Let's grab some um, ornaments. And you know what? Like if they, you could also do this for a birthday, um, maybe put some numbers in there, some candles, a birthday cake, some cupcakes, that kind of stuff. Let's see what we can uh, find here. So we can grab some ornaments and put some ornaments in there. Let's go to position and grab all of those ornaments and we're just going to bring them to the back behind the pictures. So I'll just um, put them right there behind. So that's what that would look like. And now we can add some text. I'm going to bring this text up here. And in here, I'll just say Merry Christmas. And I'm going to use a font called Beautiful Natalie. This is what it looks like right here. And 
and I'm going to make it a little bit bolder. So I'm going to add an outline and I'm going to make that outline black. So that's pretty much it, folks. So what did you think of this tutorial? It's kind of like a Hollywood Squares photo collage, but with boxes. Let me know, um, did you like this tutorial? Do you like this design? Did you learn anything? If you learned anything, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. If you want to learn about my live classes, just ask me in the comments and I'll give you more information. All right, guys, for now, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.